And welcome back to GMA and today's weekend download. When is dressing to impress too much? A high school in England has banned students from wearing designer winter coats like Canada Goose and Montclair, which can run over $1,000 in an attempt to stop what's been called poverty shaming. Joining us to talk about this phenomenon and how your kids can deal with it, uh, how you can deal with it as a parent, Erica Suter, our parenting expert, thank you so much for joining us. We always appreciate this. This story getting some controversy, people on both sides weighing in. At what point, what does it take to make a policy like this successful? Well, anytime a school bans clothing or enacts a strict dress code, uh, students always give pushback, and sometimes parents. But what this school did is that they got the community buy-in first. There are parents who wanted it, there are parents who asked for it, and there are even kids who say they wanted it. So it has a bigger chance of success because of that. Let's talk about poverty shaming in general. Is there a risk that we are sheltering our kids too much? Well, in the last decade, we've seen a lot of schools move toward more inclusivity, more focused on social emotional uh, and combat combating uh, bullying and kids feeling left out. So there are positives in terms of policies like this, but it does run the risk of being a little too protective. We're protecting them and we're shielding them from every heartache, every feeling of inadequacy. Does that really prepare them for the real world? Every parent knows the, the conversation where the kid says, I want that. They see a commercial, I want that, mom and dad. How do we have a conversation with our children about when there's something they want that they simply can't afford that's out of our budget? Well, you can start as early as age four to teach kids about earning things. You know, ask yourself, do you give them allowance or do they have to earn it from doing chores or helping with their baby brother or getting good grades? Uh, do you just buy them everything that they want or do they have to use their own money when they want something when it's not a holiday or when it's not for a special occasion? And when they get older, you can have more mature conversations about the equities of the world. Some people have lots of money and things come a lot easier and other people have to work really hard to put a roof over their head. Those are the realities of the world and we can start talking to our kids about it. Definitely. It is interesting though and it's difficult when you have kids who have the, the nice stuff and kids mm -hmm. who don't and they can feel like they're excluded from certain groups at school. So. They do. And the schools are talking about this here in the United States as well. Erica Suter, always a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. so much for joining us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.